NPR. Uh, thank you, Mr. Secretary General. Um, Afghanistan, of course. Um, how serious uh, are you about conveying to President Karzai that, that the zero option is indeed alive and well? What is NATO's deadline if the U.S. is giving him until the end of the year to sign the BSA? Um, he doesn't seem to think that this is a valid threat, regardless of your increasing reminders that, that there's a big financial cost to come with this, too, with international aid. And was President Karzai invited to come to this meeting? You've got the foreign minister and the, and the interior ministers coming, but isn't he really the one that needs to... Um, needs to get the message. Thank you. I can keep going. On the latter, I think you, you know uh, the answer that it is a foreign minister's meeting, and this is the reason why it is the foreign minister, the acting foreign minister, uh, who is uh, invited. And by the way, uh, we have also invited the Minister of Interior, uh, because he's responsible for security uh, in the run-up to presidential elections um, uh, in Afghanistan. So this is the reason why those ministers are the invitees. Now, um, uh, let me stress that when you speak about a, a zero option, a zero option is not our planning basis. Uh, but, of course, the so-called zero option can be the unfortunate outcome of decisions or non-decisions uh, in, in Afghanistan. Let me reiterate that we are prepared uh, to um, stay in Afghanistan beyond 2014 with a mission to train, assist, advise uh, the Afghan security forces. But it's no surprise that we have to make clear that we need a firm legal uh, framework for our presence in Afghanistan. So this is the reason why we have uh, stated the obvious uh, namely, we need a signature. Um, we need, first of all, a signature um, on the bilateral security agreement between the U.S. Uh, and Afghanistan. And next, uh, we need a signature uh, on a status of forces agreement um, that will provide uh, the framework for a NATO-led presence uh, in Afghanistan beyond uh, 2014. I would be reluctant to, to fix an exact date, uh, what, what is the exact uh, deadline, but it is a fact that we need some time uh, to plan properly that deployment after 2014. And in the case that there is no legal framework from the 1st of January 2015, we also need some time to plan to withdraw personnel and equipment. I mean, this is just to state the obvious. It can't be a, a surprise. Um, and um, I, I think that message um, has been delivered in very clear terms uh, to the Afghan authorities. Associated Press. Hi, Mr. Secretary. Could you um, explain what you think is the reason behind and President Karzai has, has made these expressions. And could you tell us concretely today what uh, the ministers have decided in terms of trying to encourage him to sign this, uh, the, the bilateral uh, security agreement? Um, Afghanistan will be discussed tomorrow uh, in, in the ISAF uh, meeting. And uh, that discussion will take uh, place uh, in the presence of two uh, Afghan ministers. So that will be the venue for delivering uh, messages uh, from NATO and ISAF ministers to uh, the Afghan uh, government. A and I'm not going to guess uh, about uh, uh, motives. Over there. You also mentioned Libya. Could you tell us um, what you mentioned that uh, there's going to be some, uh, some, some changes, um, the requests of support are taking shape there? Could you just elaborate on what that means exactly? Yeah, uh, some, some months ago, actually uh, last spring, uh, we received a request uh, from the Libyan uh, government uh, to um, assist uh, Libya uh, in um, developing a security uh, architecture. We have uh, uh, looked closely into that, and in collaboration with the Libyan authorities, uh, we have now provided a platform for uh, providing such um, uh, assistance. 
um, uh, and um, um, we are prepared now uh, to uh, assist uh, the the Libyan uh, government uh, in uh, developing uh, their uh, security uh, architecture. Uh, we have established uh, a small team uh, that will work uh, with uh, the Libyan authorities uh, and in close uh, coordination with other actors, international organizations, as well as individual nations, um, uh, in order to ensure uh, no duplication and complementarity in the way we assist uh, the Libyans. Thank you, Osadi. Thank you so much, Excellency. Mustafa Basharat from Radio Free Europe, Kabul Bureau. Uh, from the last uh, two days that I'm here in Brussels, uh, I have heard one message from everybody that if BSA is not signed, uh, NATO cannot uh, continue their mission in Afghanistan. So I understood from this message that uh, by now NATO have one mission that train uh, Afghan security force, but one ma another mission that uh, Osama have been killed. Now the mission is complete. And, but don't you think that uh, right now, 1,000 young Osama is living in border Pakistan and Afghanistan, and after 2014, if NATO and ISAF uh, leaves Afghanistan, there will be a new threat for international community. Thank you. Yeah, but let me stress that I do hope um, that uh, we will be able uh, to deploy a train advice assist mission uh, to Afghanistan after uh, 2014. Don't make any mistake. Uh, we, we feel strongly committed to the future uh, of Afghanistan. And um, the planned deployment of a training mission to Afghanistan uh, is actually decided in collaboration with uh, the Afghan government. Uh, we made that decision at the Chicago summit in May uh, 2012. Car President Karzai was there. We agreed. Uh, to establish that training mission beyond uh, 2014. So this is still our intention. And we are continuing uh, planning not to waste time. So if we get an invitation from Afghanistan, we are also prepared to deploy. But w NATO is not an occupation force. Uh, we intend to help Afghanistan and, of course, it is a precondition that we get an invitation. And an invitation should be accompanied by a proper legal framework. Um, and that's all. Of course, at the end of the day, it's an, it's an Afghan decision. We do, we do not impose anything uh, on Afghanistan. It's an offer from our side uh, to actually help uh, the Afghan security forces continuing uh, their capability uh, development, so we make sure that they will also be able to take full responsibility for security uh, in the future. So, um, it's a, at this stage, it's a hypothetical situation uh, that we won't be there after 2014. I still hope we will. One last question over there. TV Imedi, Georgia, Sandro Jupalkiani. Uh, you mentioned summit 2014. Will it be enlargement-oriented summit? I mean, uh, concerning Georgia as well. Uh, uh, can we get membership action plan or some other form of cooperation? Thank you. Uh, today we have discussed the overall themes uh, for the summit. Uh, we have not yet. Um, decided on the exact uh, agenda, so it's much too early uh, to um, uh, say anything about how we will address uh, the open door policy in exact terms uh, at, at the summit. Uh, that remains to be seen. There's still nine months to go. Thank you very much. Good evening.